Hello, wonderful. It's Sarah K. Ramsey here to talk about finding love and success after a toxic relationship so you can bounce back better. And I want to talk about what do you want, okay? I do this on my coaching calls all the time. And I say, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Um, and it's terrifying if you have spent all your time, energy, and effort on pleasing a toxic partner, pleasing a toxic parent, um, then what you want is probably so far away from you. You feel so disconnected from it because it's been about what they want. Your whole life has been about what they want. Okay, so the first step to healing and growing and an amazing life is figuring out what you want. Now, when I ask that question, usually the answer I get is, one, I want the toxic person to change, um, which there are things you can do to change yourself that can help with a toxic person a whole, 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 whole lot, um, but... A life goal, um, expecting another person to change. I'll be happy when they change. I'll be happy when they get help. I'll be happy when they get a job. I'll be happy when they stop calling me. I'll be happy when, okay? Um, it's a really bad goal. A really, really, really bad goal. And it's also a really bad example. I know the, the people in this group, they want to be um, examples for other women, examples for their kids. And when you give away all your power, and all your, the only goals you have are those that involve someone else's responsibility, um, it's gonna be really, really hard to get the life you want, okay? So, first step, crucial step, figure out what you want other than the toxic person changing, okay? Now, the second thing that's so tricky is what we want is to not feel uncomfortable in our own change process. Um, and you have probably been um, doing a dance with a toxic person for a long time and you know your steps, you know what you're supposed to be doing, you know your role, you know how to pick up on their moods, you know how to put your own needs aside to please them. And it's never going to give you the life you want. Never have I ever, have I ever, have I ever heard anyone say, oh my gosh, you've been sacrificing yourself for so long. Now I finally get it. I will love you forever. I will be the person you want me to be. I will change anything and everything because of my sheer love for you out of your devotion for me. But yeah, we all think it's going to happen in our head. We all think somehow that's going to be the end of our story. We keep hoping it is, but it's not. Okay, so don't give away your power. Don't give away your own story. You are not helpless. You can find happiness. You can go after what you want, but you have to have another goal other than I'll be happy when the toxic person changes. Have a great day.